What do we have here, my friends? Is the Vadia 16 CD player. Um, if not the best, one of the two best players I've ever had here, maybe the Krell KPS 28 Sewers in the same league. Um, what have we got here? We got, mechanically, it is a basically an esoteric player. Uh, it's a standard VRDS that you can find on, on P700 transport. And underneath uh, that chassis, it's actually sandwiched and fired a cage. Underneath there, there is a board, I think, from Esoteric T1 or, or VRDS T1 player, all very similar. I mean, there's just some small variants there. But where the magic is, is on that Vadia uh, duck board. And um, for the for the fans of, of stable clocks, well, look at this. Could one, two, three, four crystal oscillators? I don't know why, but there they are. Um, it's a proper balanced unit, meaning it's got four separate channels for hot and cold for each of the stereo channels, and then out of that, taking two extra channels for the single-ended outputs. DAX are uh, four times per brown PCM 1702. These are very expensive ones, penultimate ones uh, that were any good. The 1704 were the last ones, and um, both of them were so expensive because um, they were laser trimmed. These are ladder DAX, and the resistors in them were laser trimmed, so, so that's why um, you know people are now raving about. Uh, the ones made of resistors, well, so are these. Uh, regulators, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, just on that board. There's a couple more on the servo board, another one there, maybe 15 all together. So, it must be clear winner in the regulator wars. The sound quality is excellent. Um, a number of Outputs, two optical, glass and, and, and standard plastic, um, SPD and ASEBU. In case you're wondering what's the quality of it like, uh, I'll turn that off. Uh, this is a this is a square one, as good as ever. I, I don't think I've seen a better one. Even the Archiface CD. Um, I think it was D, no, DP80L didn't have a square wave that good, you know. There's a small, no, no there isn't even any artifacts. There's, every now and then there's a slight overshoot, but this is a 100 mega oscilloscope. So as you see, it's perfect. And, and the rising and falling lines are virtually vertical. Um, also, if, you, if you're so inclined, you can start another player going and, uh, and you can change the input on this and uh, and you can use this as a DAC so there you see my test CD player they're playing and um, you can go through that let's go back to this music um, what was wrong with it uh, it didn't do anything when I got it it came from another workshop um, basically quick service restored the transport function, you know, belt changes, micro switches cleaning, lens cleaning, that kind of thing. Uh, I've tested also the laser. There's in the previous video there is a mention that there's only 20% used. Uh, in here there was no output whatsoever, but this was because this is this is designed to work straight into power amps. It has excellent preamp in it, and as you see, you can turn <laughs> down the volume. <laughs> And it was just turned down. But when you turn the unit on, turn the power on, it's really down. And you have to really bring it up to, if you want to control the power with the preamp. And then I found there was a distortion in one channel, and this was due to this little um, buffer, Burr Brown BF634. So now it's all good. Uh, soon will be available for sale. Um, Probably on SNA first before I go on eBay. Uh, let me play a.
nice and smooth. Uh, this is this was of course CDR, uh, so it was replaced CDR, so you know that, and uh, replaced them test CD with you know interruption in data layers and and black dots um, to show you that it works and interpolates things properly. Um, Okay, so we go to track number eight, which is the biggest interruption data layer. It should start pretty soon, yeah, that's good. And we'll go then to 15. I haven't got the remote to jump there. And 15 plays as well. Well, thank you very much. It interpolates properly, nice even channel levels. Thank you very much until uh, next time. Bye bye.